Hello. My thoughts on Shev Gabe. In case you don't know him, Shev Gabe is a filmmaker who is quite infamous in Egypt. His channel has 241,000 subscribers and he's quite well known for his critiques on Islam and religion in general. He has multiple videos which all have millions of views. Muslim Meets God has 1.7 million views. Does God Exist with 1.6 million. The Lies of Al-Bukhari with 1.2 million. And so on. Life has become very difficult for Sheriff. He's been in jail for several years and it seems that he can be arrested at any moment. He's been requested to hand himself over to, to the authorities and every time he tried to leave the country he was blocked and his passport was taken away. He tried just about everything, legal or illegal as he put it, including crowdsourcing $100,000 to get a passport from an obscure country to get out. But that didn't succeed. Sheriff is under constant threat of murder. I personally don't try to over-exaggerate. I don't personally say that my life is in danger, even though it could be. But in this case, this is no over-exaggeration. I really do think his life is in danger. And even if it isn't, he definitely feels that it is. He has to constantly move and relocate. And every threatening call he gets, every time he hears footsteps in the stairwell, it reminds him of when he was arrested and thrown in jail. He has to constantly move and relocate. Now, the worst thing so far is Sheriff said that he might kill himself. He feels suffocated and trapped. Don't do it. I have some advice for you. Advice that can save your life. Some of you will be surprised by what I'm about to say. Sheriff you should convert back to Islam. Say the Shahada. Once you do that, your blood and money are safe from the Muslims. There is a hadith that in the battlefield, one of the enemies of the Muslims said the Kalima, the Shahada, and then Usama, the beloved grandson of Prophet Muhammad, killed him. They told the Prophet what happened and he was really upset. He kept repeating over and over, what will you do with la ilaha illallah on the day of judgment? And Osama said, but he said that just, just to avoid being killed. Right? He just said that you know, as a show, but Muhammad wouldn't accept it. Osama was so upset and he said he wished he had become Muslim after that day so that his sin of killing a man would have been forgiven. Sheriff, Take down all of your videos, make a public statement about returning to Islam and you will be fine. Yes, your ego will take a hit. Yes, it's not, it doesn't feel good. But you, don't, but you don't have to explain it to anybody. You don't have to pray five times a day and all that. It doesn't matter. You can be a liberal Muslim. You can be a Muslim that supports women's right to choose to wear hijab and not wear hijab. Be a Muslim and you will be fine. Your life will improve. You'll have some breathing space and you'll be able to decide what is best for yourself to do in the long run. You have a lot of great skills for film editing. Work in mainstream for a while. Get a job in the Egyptian movie industry maybe. If you are publicly a Muslim, nobody has a right to judge what's in your heart. Just do it. As they say, they plot and Allah plots. And Allah is the best of plotters. Wink, wink. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, Abdullah Samir is signing out. And Sharif Gaba, stay strong. We don't want you to lose your life. We don't want you to die over this. You've done a lot for the community. You've done a lot for the movement. And, you know, personally, if I was in your situation, I think this is what I would do. I wouldn't lose my life. And honestly, it's not worth it. You know, as far as we know, this is the only life we have, right? So even if you have to, you know, take a little bit of an ego hit, you know, there's, there's been other famous activists that have returned to Islam as well. So you, you won't be the only one, right? Um, no one will judge you for it. 
your situation is very difficult, your situation is very constrained, very tight, nobody expects you to be a martyr for a movement. Don't do it. Don't be a martyr. Okay? Save yourself. Save your life. Live your life. There is so much that you can do, you know, once you're out of this difficult situation. Things will improve. Trust me. Right? All of us out there, we care about you. And we're grateful for what you've done. And again, that's all I have to say. And be strong. You know, I could never do what you did. And I don't think many of us would ever have come out if we were in your situation. Like, I'm in the comfort of Canada. I'm in the safety of Canada. Which is why I was able to come out. I would never do what you did. I don't have the guts to do what you did. And you've done a lot. So just, you've done enough for us now. Do what's best for yourself. Do what's best for your life. Okay, Sheriff? I really hope that one day we can meet. I'd be proud to meet you. I'd be proud to talk to you. If those of you are watching this video and you can share it with him, I think um, it'd be nice if you can watch it. Thank you so much. This is Abdullah Samir signing out.